This is Dr. Travis Stoner with Fusion Physical Therapy. And today I'd just like to talk with you about what the Medicare cap is and what that means for you being able to receive physical therapy services. We are often asked by patients who have Medicare, how many visits will Medicare cover for physical therapy? Unfortunately, that's a very complicated question to answer because Medicare doesn't actually cover a set number of visits, they cover for an arbitrary monetary amount. This means that the number of visits can vary widely based on each clinic, the duration of each therapy session, your one-on-one -on -one attention, and what services you are actually being billed for. So what I'd like to do is start with just giving you a brief history of what the therapy cap is and how it was introduced initially and what it means for you today. The therapy cap was initially introduced in the Balanced Budget Act of 1997 under the Clinton administration. This called for $1,500 in one calendar year to be reimbursed max for physical and speech therapy combined with a separate cap of $1,500 for occupational therapy alone. This is for outpatient services only and not services that are rendered inside the, your home or inside a hospital setting. As you can see on this slide, the first thought of a cap really started in 1979 at $100, but nothing was really instituted until the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. That started a cap of $1,500 on January 1st of 1999. However, by November of 1999, a moratorium went into place effectively canceling the cap. Moratoriums were continue to be voted and approved until January of 2006. During the year of 2006, Congress did allow for an exceptions process so that patients can receive coverage beyond the, beyond the cap that were deemed appropriate and medically necessary. So the therapy cap has actually been in place since 2006. However, there was always an exceptions process through December 31st of 2017 that allowed patients to go above and beyond the $1,590 cap if those services were deemed appropriate and medically necessary. In October of 2017, a bipartisan agreement had been reached to permanently repeal the cap and change forever the structure of what we now know as the therapy cap. However, Congress never voted on that bill. And so beginning in 2018, a hard cap of $2,010 was put into place. So even though a bipartisan agreement was reached, it was never introduced or voted on. What that means that as of January 1st of 2018, for the entire calendar year, all patients with Medicare will only have $2,010 to spend on a combined outpatient physical and speech therapy. No exceptions are allowed anymore. So just to emphasize one more time, what that means for you, the patient, is that in calendar year 2018, you will have a combined physical therapy and speech benefit of $2,010, no exceptions. Now, if you and your therapist agree that you need services above and beyond that $2,010, then that's something you're going to have to work out and pay for out of pocket because Medicare will not reimburse for therapy services of any type over $2,010 within the same calendar year. So now that I've given you a brief overview of the history of the cap and what the cap actually is, still, what does that mean for me? How many visits will I get? Well, the question now becomes even more complicated because of the way that Medicare reimburses for physical therapy services. Medicare defines billable services for therapy as specific one-on-one -on -one treatment by a licensed professional, which would be your physical therapist or your physical therapy assistant. So any services that you do on your own without direct one-on-one -on -one supervision 
or any services that are provided to you by a tech are not really billable under Medicare. The way that we, re that way that we bill Medicare and any insurance company really goes in time and not by the visit. So for every 15 minutes, we bill one unit. Each unit of service has a different code that goes along with it, like manual therapy, where your therapist is actually providing joint mobilization or soft tissue mobilization, and therapeutic exercise, where your therapist is guiding you through exercises to help restore your function. Because each of our treatment sessions are billed out by time, the amount per visit that is actually charged for your cap can vary quite significantly. For example, if your therapist provided 15 minutes of soft tissue mobilization on your arm, then helped you with exercises for 35 minutes, your therapist would bill Medicare one unit, which is 15 minutes, of 97140, which is manual therapy, and two units of 97110, which is therapeutic exercise. Now, to make things even more complicated, Medicare put in a rule that each like unit gets reimbursed by 25% per bill. So the two units of 97110 are not even actually reimbursed at the same rate. The second unit of 97110 is reduced by 25%. So I hope that last side confused you a little bit because it kind of confuses all of us. It makes it very, very hard to be able to answer the question. So how many visits is that? Because it varies widely. If you're only in the office for 30 minutes on one day, or you're in the office for one-on-one -on -one skilled therapy for 60 minutes, that gets billed completely differently. And not necessarily at just double the rate based off of the way that Medicare reduces each consecutive unit. So at our facility, we started going back through and seeing about how long it took our patients to get to that Medicare cap. In our clinic, in our clinic alone, it led up to an average of 18 visits. Now that doesn't mean that we give you an 18 visit hard limit. We track how much Medicare is reimbursing for our services and we let you know as you're getting close to the cap. However, this does mean that without further action from Congress, you will only have about 18 visits for the entire 2018 calendar year. Now, if that seems odd or unfair, we agree. We think that an arbitrary amount of $2,010 per calendar year on combined physical therapy and speech therapy is a little ridiculous. How often have we had one injury early in the year and then something else happened to us later in that same year? What if you had a surgery that you needed help recovering from and then you got into a motor vehicle accident? These are things that are really out of your control. An arbitrary amount of $2,010 makes it incredibly difficult for patients to receive appropriate therapeutic services that are, in fact, medically necessary. Now, remember that these unit, these CAP units, they don't care about different diagnoses. It is just $2,010 without exception for the entire calendar year. If you don't like it and you want to do something about it, we would encourage you to do so. Included in the link at the bottom of this slide, as well as the link embedded within the blog on our website, the link, if you click on it, will take you to the American Physical Therapy Association. That link will allow you to put in your zip code and your email address. Once you do that, an automatic letter with who your representatives are will come up. All you have to do is sign it and hit send, and the APTA will send that letter showing your support for permanently repealing the cap to your representatives. It's very, very quick and very, very easy. We hope that over the past few minutes, we were actually able to help educate you on what the therapy cap is, a brief history behind it, and how complicated it is to answer the number of visits Medicare approves question. If you have anything else that you'd like to know, please feel free to give us a call at 540-710-0100, and any one of our staff would be more than happy to answer that, or you can email us 
my personal email is travis at fusionpta.com and I'd love to hear from you. I hope we were able to make your day a little easier. Take care.